Hello and welcome back to Battletech. I'm uh, gonna be doing uh, this trap sprung. This is gonna be one of the difficult, uh, most difficult missions I've taken in the last while. Um, kind of want a payday, but uh, the fact that it's only one seven. If it was two seven, I might take a something like this. Um. Yeah, we're losing rep. We're actually going to dip into the negatives for the Oregon Directorate, which is fine. They suck, right? Okay, so um, we're shelving the Shadowhawk. We're bringing in... We have two dragons, Centurion. Um, wait, what? What was the other thing I was bringing on? Is it the Griffin? Uh, might be the Griffin. Because we're going short range with both dragons. Let's get this uh, set up so that I actually understand what we've got a bit better. It might be that we're just using the griffin. I don't think we're using the, the other centurion. I think the griffin is good long range. But we want two long range and two short range. That's the idea. Um, LRM 15s, LRM 10 and 15. And cockpit mod, cockpit mod, that's what you like to see in the short range units. And I think this is good. Um, I think this is actually a pretty good comp. Um, you know, like I could do something a bit more experimental and have a scout running around kicking mechs in the, in the shins. But like, you know, is it worth doing that? It's riskier for not really much extra benefit. It's just funny. It's really just funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'll do a pause here so we're not waiting around. All right, let's, let's get it done. We're in the area where the directorate mech has, was sighted. Move up and make contact. Let's see what sort of trap this is. Stay alert. All right. Ooh, it's pretty far away. We got a nice mountain to climb, though. Can we get to that road? We can go that way. Let's go that way. I want to get up on that nice big old mountain. For uh, for the nice, uh, you know, advantage. Advantage vantage, you know? Like an advanced vantage point? An advantage? Is that, uh, is that a thing? What's a, what is the thing when you're like, uh, when you have uh, a window of opportunity to take advantage of? Oh, I guess that's it. All right, never mind. Roger. We're going to follow this road. We're going to go up this mountain. You see that mountain? We can climb that mountain. And we would be much incentivized to, to do so. I guess uh, maybe the short range mechs would not be as uh, incentivized to do so. What do we got there? 65 ton. It's a catapult. I've never seen a catapult before. Spooky. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um... Doesn't change much. Shoot, I guess we can't, uh, take a shot. We can t probably take a shot on the next turn with the Centurion. So that's our, our big boy mech. Waiting for orders. Waiting for orders. We can hit it now. Let's start pummeling it. It doesn't have a lot of armor. It's actually very weak. Oh, it's got two LRM-20s though. I'm gonna try and just punch it in the center, center torso. Um Yeah. Position confirmed. I am assuming there's going to be uh an influx of mechs very soon. I don't think that this is going to be this straightforward. I was hoping I could get a little bit closer. Ah, perfect. Lifting off. 
firing a full salvo. Some good hits. It's almost completely uh, out of out of um, armor. I do really like the look of the dragon, even if I'm not a huge fan of its like mechanical design. Uh, we broke off an arm. I wanted to just honestly kill it without breaking anything off. It's actually gonna. Ooh, it's defending itself somehow. I hear ya. There we go. Done. So now what? That's that's the question, isn't it? Is now what? What's uh, what are they gonna do? Looks like I should be able to walk that way, but I obviously can't. This thing doesn't have jump jets, so uh, you know I'm not sure what we're doing. I guess I can walk back. Seems kind of sad. Um, we can jump down. This is why having even a small amount of, um, jump jets is good. Yeah. Is a good idea for a mech. Because it can, you know, you can make these kind of, like, little, little tiny jumps. Uh, so yeah, I can't get down this way. I'm gonna have to go, like, the long way around. Which really sucks. Going turbo. Commander. <laughs> yeah, this... I mean, um, you know, something we could do, I suppose, is we could leave the long-range mechs here and um, just kind of draw them out. I'll have to move around with the short-range, though. I might want to put some jump jets on the other dragon. So we've got a 50 ton and another 50 ton. Uh, I am going to move forward and then do a sensor lock. I guess we don't have to on the other one, but I will anyway. It's a hunchback. We've got a third one. 45 ton, that's fine. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to take the other dragon the long way around, which really sucks. It's really bad. I'll, uh, I'll consider taking some stuff off of it and maybe, uh, just basically modeling it exactly like this one so that I can put some jump jets on it. We've got a fourth mech coming in with a large laser. Might want to back up a bit. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Okay, we got PPC, SRM. We'll just we'll just fire on it. Good to go. So yeah, we don't have to we don't have to move. Wait, why is glitch why is one of her guns offline? Did I do that? Did I do that maybe in the previous match? I didn't know that it stayed offline between matches. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. Oh wow, that was actually amazing. Is that another trebuchet? That dragon is taking a beating. This is Centurion. Oh god, this sucks. We have a vindicator. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to back up with that thing now. Maybe I'll just sprint. I'm going to sprint for the forest. We'll have some good evasion. We'll take some damage reduction. Um 
we are going to be pointed away from them, unfortunately, but it'll draw them out. Miss, good. Orders. Let's just try and take out that trebuchet. Giving them everything I've got. Done. One less target. Okay, not a good position, but we can move forward a little bit. Oh my god! What? Yo, you can do that? Look how many medium lasers it has! How? What kind of hunchback is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight medium lasers? What? This must be a different model. I, there's no, I do not remember it. Wow. Holy crap. Well, we're going to hit that right torso. That's like where all of its weaponry is. So there's sensor lock in my long range stuff. That's fine. Let's do another precision shot. We like, this is going to hurt their offense right arm destroyed we just like took out half their weaponry <laughs> i mean that's not completely true but you know it's funny still running the long way around this is what you get for not putting jump jets on the short range stuff but good to know the long range has a bit of flexibility. Like we don't have to do, put jump jets on them. So yeah, we took out like everything uh, on the hunchback. So I am gonna, let's uh, try and hit that vindicator instead. It's It's got some weaponry, not a lot. Where is its weaponry? Right arm is where the PPC is. Left arm is where the uh, and then torso. Where is its stuff? It's got it's it's kind of spread out actually. We could try and hit its head. Let's just try and hit its head. Why not? Let's do some fun stuff. Waiting on you, Commander. unsteady i mean i don't know if like trying to hit something that is hard to hit means we have less a uh, uh, lower chance of hitting the mech in question i just think it increases the chances of hitting that one thing it's you know Receiving you. i don't know how to put it but like you know i i think that it's it's fine to try and hit something harder to hit we didn't even expose it unfortunately but that's fine we did expose both of its shoulders. We knocked it over. Hit. Unless that thing has jump jets. I mean, it does have some weaponry left. And that thing's got some damage. Oh, the dragon. I mean, we did this mission with three mechs. Like with one of our mechs basically completely out of action. And I think that's a good sign. I think that I'm starting to get pretty comfortable with this group. Receiving you. Let's try and hit that. Oh, we have, we still have, uh, okay. Let's, um, let's try and take something out. Like I, I make the mistake of like not killing the thing that is almost dead because it's like, well, most of its weaponry is dead and it's, you know, basically worthless right now. Except it's not. It's still a moving thing that, you know... Waiting for orders. Like, it's it's better to kill what is almost dead than to, to start hitting the next thing. There we go. And I mean, if it takes an entire volley of missiles to kill, then I think it's probably worth, a, you know, hitting. I will say, I mean, despite my kind of grievances with the dragon, I do appreciate that it can take a volley from like an entire team of mechs and, and not even get exposed. 
and it hits pretty hard it doesn't hit harder than something maybe that specializes but it's good enough so we're almost in the you know the, everything's almost dead but we uh the dragons almost made it we're definitely putting jump jets on that thing for this circumstance nice i do kind of wish that knocking something over like bought you like I, I it's really nice don't get me wrong but the fact that it can get up and also attack i guess that's also good for us in case we get knocked over okay done mission. easy mission honestly let's see uh i don't know if there's too many mechs there that i would consider using and i like our current comp So I might start taking money as opposed to mech parts. Um, ooh. I mean, we could build a Centurion. Or sorry, not Centurion, uh, a Vindicator. We could take this the Catapult. The Catapult is a 65 ton. I'm kind of a fool if I don't take this in, uh, the, the Catapult. That was honestly the best part about that. Ooh, an LRM-20 is actually really nice. Oh... Uh, If I took the LRM-20, it is, like, it's genuinely an upgrade for something. Uh, I'm gonna take the catapult part. We got a hunchback part, and we got kind of nothing else. Well, that's fine. That would have been a good mission to take parts on, but, uh, you know, the, the thing is, is the middling choice was only one of seven, so we weren't really like we and we're taking a huge pay cut for that we might have uh time for three missions i don't think anyone took any oh before we do this we're definitely swapping up the the dragon so how do these guys differ right now okay so i i opted for support lasers so I am going to take those support lasers off and put some jump jets on. Oh, we don't have any jump jets. So interesting. Let's, um, I can't remember mix from 60 to 60 to 85 tons, right? We have to have different kinds of jump jets. Take a tiny, tiny armor hit, but this is good. Only takes one day. I'll let you know when that's done. And I don't think we need to bruise with the support lasers. It's nice, but I don't think it's as nice as having jump jets. Okay, so last mech standing. Um, there's a lot of missions here I wouldn't mind taking. One of seven or a bigger pay cut. Uh, we're taking a hit from the Torian. I would really like to, like, I, I, we're already on good terms with the Arano. I, it kind of sucks that we are, like, pissing off, basically, all of our other factions. I don't think, there are some other factions that are basically not involved in the Arano restoration at all. Or at least that conflict. So we don't have to do this. Or, you know, we, we can, we can kind of move to a different part of the, the galaxy and, and um, do some missions for a different group. But I think maybe, you know, I still want to build up a little bit more. I think uh, after this, I'd be comfortable even, like, if this takes, like, 20 minutes, um, I might do a campaign mission. Because I do want to, I want to progress the story a bit more. And then depending on how that leaves, I might um, move to a different part of the galaxy and start doing something different. Because I do, I, like I say, I want to I wanna build up my rep with a different faction just to see what we get. Because if I keep doing this, then we're not going to really see the more interesting mechs. Command interface initiated. This is going to be a stand-up fight, Commander. Your lance against the opposing forces. 
Intel says that they're near your current location. Move in and clear them out. Good hunting, Commander Oliviera out. Um, okay, we got a 55 ton. Nothing, nothing super worrisome. Location confirmed. Copy that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really happy with this comp right now. It's not super creative, Ready for orders. but does it need to be? Um, we'll spend a sensor lock, may as well. A wolverine. I hear ya. I mean, we can already take some shots on it. I just love doing that. I'm sorry. That's just so much fun. Like, you know, before they even know you're there, just lobbing an entire like arsenal of of rockets at them is is a lot of fun i'm actually gonna let's just head for this forest so we get that damage reduction we're gonna take a small percentage hit on hitting them but like i think it's worth it for the damage reduction ready for orders um yeah the jump doesn't really buy us much We'll do the same with the other, with the, uh, the, the dragon. <clears throat> the other dragon, I should say. I wasn't really expecting to do any damage there. I'm just basically doing some, like, cover fire. Oh, wow, they hit with pretty much everything there. Again, I'm just, like, trying to remove their evasion for the long-range stuff to hit them. Um, might be better to hit this thing's got damage reduction right now because it's in the forest So it might be better to hit something else We have a better chance of hitting it though, so I don't know and it's uh, center torso is almost done Surprised it withstood that but I guess uh, we did you know sometimes you get unlucky with your volley Let's just punch it right in the gut. It's got 50 health left. Done. Enemy mech destroyed. Yeah, I mean, like, we're getting to the point, and, I, you know, this is where we're taking um, a dragon is, like, really worthwhile. We're getting to the point where, like, we can take a PPC and it doesn't really hurt us too much. Oh, we hit with, like, almost everything there. That was really nice. Um, we could do... Something. I'm being a little bit more slapdash lately, and I don't mean to be, uh, except for the fact that, like, I'm doing a much the same thing over and over again. Nice. That was a really good hit. Knockdown. Cool. I mean, we don't get to take advantage of that, but it's still nice. Pilot injured. That's the best part about that, really. Wow, we got another hunchback with like eight medium lasers. Yeah, that actually sucks. Oh, we do get to take advantage of that. Nice. I'm actually going to turn my back on them so that we have more armor. And try and kill this uh, griffin. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. Moving to position. 
So let's have a look at yeah, this thing's got eight medium lasers it Doesn't have a lot of armor in the center torso So i'm just gonna go ahead and hit it in the center torso. I mean, it's not the good move We should just hit it in the shoulder because like after that we don't have to worry too much about it yeah let's hit it in the in the in the shoulder that's the right shoulder right yeah okay good what can i do for you I guess the worst thing we can do is spread our shots like that. We really should like target something. Yeah, critical hit. I should have I should have punched it. Like melee hit it. Inflicted some heavy damage. But we don't have the support lasers anymore and that's where uh Punching something like really matters. Let's let's punch it anyway. Smack! Yay! Left leg destroyed. Knocked down. I don't think we get to take advantage of that. It feels it feels like bullying, you know. <laughs> Look at that leg. It's gnarly. I I want that hunchback model. I would actually swap out maybe one of the dragons for something like that. That just seems like super cool. Okay, so that's the right shoulder done. And so it's basically donezo. May as well try and hit it where it, ma where, you know, matters. There we go. We're we done. We're done. Mission successful. That was like 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean this team comp. I mean like maybe I'm taking too much credit Maybe these missions have just been very easy, but we're gonna do that story campaign. What? What? Okay, um also I probably have a bunch of experience to spend Yeah, we're taking that We got the Wolverine part. I kind of wanted the Griffin part. Oh, SRM 6 Plus. Aw. Should have taken that, honestly. Dang. All right. So we're going to do a story mission now. Um, I. Okay, yeah, we we're going to spend our experience. Hello. Oh my god. Yeah, we've got a lot of experience to spend here. Training confirmed, Commander. Um Yeah, we'll do base weaponry. It's just a benefit. Oh my god. I have so much experience. Training confirmed, Commander. Training complete. <laughs> Uh, Medusa, poor Medusa gets the short end of the stick quite a lot. Um, okay. We've got the money. We should do some ship upgrades. Wouldn't mind doing upgrading the power systems. We haven't really needed to repair our mechs lately, but that can change quickly. Um... Could improve the beta pods barracks support up to 16. We don't really need that because I haven't you know, none of my mech warriors have died That could also change that would really suck. I won't lie. That would really feel bad uh, At this point, I have kind of put all of our uh, egg, her megs Her mechs in one basket um, Cuz like I should be training up other mech warriors. We could start doing that is I could just like start taking on other pilots for missions so that we have backups um, Why don't we upgrade our training module? 
and then we can start doing that currently we can support up to eight mech warriors so we don't have to upgrade the habitat pods just yet we can only upgrade one thing at a time unfortunately is there anything we want to buy at the store we might have to move before we uh i really do kind of want to buy this stalker part even though we can't even get close to building it uh i don't think there's anything else at this store i really want anything in equipment not really we could buy the two dragon parts that's the only thing but um i think that they're really good close range i don't think that they're very viable long range so i actually kind of like what we've got going on right now so i don't think we need more than two dragons i don't think that it really benefits us okay let's uh just take the contract oh i guess it's here we don't have to move oh wow that's a good payday okay yeah do it and then after this I'll, I'll start hiring some more mech warriors as you heard house carosis has suffered greatly at the hands of the directorate we can't change that but we can show lord carosis that we're his allies and that our word can be trusted we need his help with our data archive yes but that isn't why i agreed to this mission if we are to prevail against the directorate i must unite the founding houses under the restorations banner without their support we'll have no way of replacing our losses <clears throat> understood let's get into the specifics of this job he's given us i seem to re remember something about a drop ship she's called the new grange she's a transport vessel ostensibly civilian named for an old line of yard ships the new grange has been certified for commercial flight in the directorate the capellan confederation and the torian concordat in all other ways she's completely unremarkable at least that's what her official paperwork says uh-huh what's the real story the new grange is running weapons into the oregon reach to supply the directorate's war effort her crew has been using an old commercial port on of anvelt to fuel up between trips ships like this one could help to explain the directorate's unexpected strength of arms it's in our interest to destroy it according to the intel we've been given the new grange is carrying more armor than any union class dropship has any right to attacking her directly will be a waste of time thankfully lord madeira has found us an alternative approach the anvelt fueling station was designed for civilian use it isn't a hardened target and its components can't withstand a sustained attack if we go in while the new grange is refueling and blow the station's primary fuel reservoir her armor won't count for much the resulting explosion will smash her like an egg you sure that Lord Carosas is telling the truth? It'd be a disaster if we took out a civilian dropship. From my own study of the New Grange and this situation on Anvelt, I'm convinced that Lord Carosas is telling us the truth. There's something deeply suspicious about this ship. She isn't the commercial transport she pretends to be. Yeah, I actually agree with this. Vague assurances aren't enough, Lady Arano. I need to know that there aren't any innocent people on that ship. I'm no more eager for unnecessary bloodshed than you are. I hope that you know me well enough to recognize that. If we can erase the new grange on the comms, I will offer her captain a chance to surrender. I'd rather take prisoners than fill graves. The Reach has seen too much death already. Sounds like a workable plan. Let's move forward. Hang on a second. If this job weren't e as easy as blowing up a fuel tank, Carosis would have done it himself already. So what's the catch? I mean, we send us... Why send us after such an easy target? Lord Carosis sent the last remnants of his personal guard after the Newgrange two weeks ago. A lance of hardened mech warriors. They were sum summarily, summarily destroyed. A complete loss. There were no survivors. Sounds like an unusually heavy security detail for a smuggling operation. It's bizarre, I agree, but we have only Lord Carosa's word to go on, and he didn't personally witness what happened. We should approach this drop with an abundance of caution. Bring the strongest lance you can find, and keep your eyes open while you're on the moon's surface. Yay, a moon mission! Yay! I'd recommend bringing a heat-efficient lance, if possible. 
Anvelt's atmosphere and climate will quickly overwhelm your heat sinks if you're not careful. No time like the present. Um, I do have a little bit of laser, but I can always turn them off. I'll be with you in the comms. Good hunting. All right, here we go. Decker is kind of low morale. I might uh, I might want us wanted to swap him out, but I, I can't say no to that tactician bonus. It's just too good. The uh, the called shots are better. The initiative is better. Everything is just better. It's honestly better than more damage in some ways. Do a pause here. All right. Command interface initiated. There's a lot of activity on the ground, Commander. It looks like the new Grange has been prepped for launch. You're going to have to uh, have a tight timetable to get in there and blow the station's fuel reservoir before it lifts off. And I'm seeing turret emplacements and light battle mech activity on the ground, but it appears that the security detail we were warned about is off-site for now. Samira will be monitoring her sensors for any sign of incoming dropships. She's got that right, Commander. If I see anything, you'll be the first to know. And I'd advise you to be wary of the secondary landing pad up here on the ridge. If I were dropping a defensive lance, that's where I'd do it. Good hunting, Commander. I'll be running ops for you from here. So this is a radioactive planet? Martian biome. Units in a partial vacuum sink only 75% of their normal heat. Yeah, they weren't kidding about them. About them, uh them heat that's rough well we got a pretty good start here we can single out and probably destroy one of their mechs like right away what is that wow it already took a shot on us oh a commando I don't know, uh, I know LRMs actually build up a little bit of heat, so we might run into heat problems even with the long range. Don't we'll see. Me this be good. And there's more where that I am kind of surprised it took that. There's something else in there. Orders. Oh, we got, we do have lasers on this thing. Might be, might be a problem. We'll see. Yeah, we are, we are already building up quite a bit of heat, even from this. There we go. Wow, that was a pretty ex big explosion. We've got two more mechs, and we should take out that turret if we can. I'm not going to be able to hit those, but I can sensor lock them. Kind of want to sensor lock, um, like, I think we should kind of hang out here and try and take out those turrets from long range. Standard LRM turret. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're going to reserve. I, I do want to actually take out the turret, so I'm going to do that again. And um, try and take it out with long range. We've got a Wolverine. We'll just hide behind the mountain for the time being. This is the short range. We can start firing on that, so I will. It's not bad. Orders. So let's uh, lob some stuff over. They might have a turret generator. I might not have to like shoot the turrets directly, but I may as well take out what I can see. What is that? That's the turret generator over there. So we could go for that or we could just shoot them directly. I'm only seeing the two turrets, so I think it'd just be worth taking out the turrets. Okay, that's one destroyed. 
take out the next one on the next turn. Okay, that's going to be another turret, probably. Standing by. We'll just shoot at what we can for now. Can probably kill that thing. Honestly, like doing um, sensor locks with the uh, dragons isn't a bad idea because, um, you know, they're going to be generating a lot of heat from just like shooting things. Yeah, they're, they're, that dragon's taking a little bit more heat than it really should this early. Uh, wow, I guess I'll just shoot it in the torso. Had a little bit more health than I was expecting. I would really like to just take it out. There we go. This is good. Um, yeah, that's the problem with moving up. It is exposed. Yes, Commander. I'll take out that other turret, but for now, I'm going to take out what I can see. It's a uh, center torso is already kind of damaged, so I'm just going to go for that. Try and kill it. We've got a panther. Oh, okay. Commander, I'm wounded. Oh, he really I'm took a took a uh, an injury on on the one hit there. Dang. I read you, Commander. Moving out. I'm just gonna double down on this shadow hawk. I think it's a bigger threat right now. Should be able to kill it here. Yes. Cool. Um, could like run forward and try and get a read on that turret or just try and take it out. Let's try and do that. And then if I don't take it out, then I can take it out with the long range on the next turn. Nice. So there is another turret over there. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is sprint forward and uh, either try and take it out or the generator. But we sprint forward so that we can get a line of sight on it, build up some evasion so that we hopefully don't take shots. Okay, so there is a second turret. It is actually worth taking out the generator. And we can hit it from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Dang. So close. Waiting on you, I'm actually going to split our shot. We'll like dedicate one thing to that generator and then also the panther. You get a headshot and you get a headshot. <laughs> Very funny. Nice. Okay, so those turrets over there are destroyed. We have the fuel pumping station. We could start hitting it. I don't see why there's time to lift out is seven rounds. Is there a reason we shouldn't just hit the fuel pumping station? There's another turret generator over there. Uh, I think I've already destroyed everything that that turret generator is attached to. I don't really see anything else that could look like a turret. Maybe that thing there. I'll move here and I'll see if anything pops up. There's nothing on that tower. We can't even see the panther. Uh, I mean, let's just hit it. Why not? 
This is the captain of the New Grange. Hold your fire, damn it. We are a civilian transport, not a military. Why? Why is our intel so bad? I know what you are. Power down your engines and surrender, or your ship will be destroyed. I can't do that. I repeat, hold your fire. There are unarmed people on this vessel. We've got a hold full of passengers, and you'll be murdering them if you destroy that tank. I already know what your, what your ship is carrying, and it isn't civilians, Captain. I'm giving you one last chance to surrender. If you refuse, what happens next will be on your head, not mine. Listen to reason and power down now. They've cut the comm feed. I'm picking up increased activity on my sensors. They're making a run for it. Uh, are we about to commit war crimes? I think we're about to commit war crimes. Not a huge fan of that. Like, I get it. I understand. It's like, hey, if you guys are actually a civilian ship, you should surrender. Like, but at the same time, I'm like, don't think that, oh, wow, our right arm is almost destroyed. I don't think it matters too much. What is it, all of our weaponry on? Uh, left torso left arm there's nothing on our right arm i just want to double check that we're not losing anything okay we're, we're good if we lose that arm i'm gonna take off our lasers and try and recoup some heat while we can i i don't like this that was a great camera angle game i could absolutely see nothing there May as well kill what's on the field because we're definitely going to be hit by another vehicle soon enough. Yeah, look at that. We're actually building up heat with the LRMs. Let's just go ahead and brace. This is the only breathing time we have. Like, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to get hit by something else as soon as I destroy this thing. Actually, am I not in the blast radius here? I feel like I am. That's done it. The new Grange is down. That should satisfy our ob obligation to Lord Corrosus. Yeah, here comes the second lance. Incoming transmission. You fool. Do you have any idea what you've just done? You'll pay for that with your life. Mercenary filth. Victoria Espinosa's, huh? If I'd known you'd be here, I'd have taken the field myself. A pity you didn't. We could have ended this war here and now. I suppose I'll have to... I'll have to content myself with your prized mercenaries. Watch as I tear them to shreds. If we killed Victoria of Espinosa's, that's going to be kind of, uh, wild. Well, that looked like a 20. Actually, if it, I guess if it was a 20, we would have taken 100 damage. We are taking some pretty heavy hits. Two PPCs, huh? Took a hard hit there. The dream is real. Ready for orders. Um, let's just take out this panther while we can. Roger. I'm actually going to back up the dragons. I really don't want them taking the brunt of an entire team like that. Waiting for orders. Luckily, we can actually hit something right now. Oh, it's just a little fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Um, I don't think it's worth. Oh, I mean, we are full on morale, so if I don't use it, then it's kind of wasted. Commencing alpha strike. Some good hits there. So they have a centurion. Taking some nasty hits. I don't know why my mechs aren't getting a chance to move. I'm actually just going to, like, sprint away right now. Yeah, our, our stability is bad enough. I'm actually going to use a Vigilance to get some of that back so that I can sprint. 
I don't want to lose anything. Like I've, I've lost that arm. Um, I think it's it's better if we can like recoup a bit. Yes, Commander. So I'm gonna use this uh, some of this landscape to our advantage. Put them within like spitting range, not spitting range. Sorry, uh, Moving out. you know, very slight range, and then we'll sensor lock some stuff. Um, we could sensor lock that 35 and just kill it, but I want to start hitting some of their tougher stuff. They also have a dragon. We're probably not in a good position here. What is this whirlwind? They reduce movement and spotting distance, but they provide cover. Damage reduction. Yeah, I mean, this is just ideal. This is an ideal little zone here. And we're definitely going to do some precision strikes on this dragon. Um, don't think there's any reason. I guess we can hit the ammo. Let's hit the ammo. I mean, it did have some nasty damage reduction, so a lot of that was reduced. On my way. Yeah, and we... Uh, we're building up heat. We're going to have to probably take a, a heat break with the long range pretty soon. I am a little bit uh, worried that we're spending too much ammo as well. They might have some long range as well. So we don't really have to move too much to, you know, put them within range. So what does a um, sensor lock do besides remove their evasion? Target also gains plus two sensors impaired. Perfect. So there is a really good reason to do that, even if we can already see them. Wow, they hit us pretty good there, considering they had that cover. Still? Like, I think uh, I'm using the terrain to her, you know, most advantage. Um, next initiative is increased. It might actually be worth... Nah, I'm just going to brace. What is this? Our sensors are impaired? Is that because of the whirlwind? I guess it must be. But I am going to... We need to regain our... our uh, we need to regain our heat. So I'm going to do a brace twice. And this also draws them out so then we can start hitting them with a the close range. Don't worry. I don't mind if they take some hits. So what we could do is like go like here is not bad. And I think that we'll be able to hit this, but then the bigger mechs can't hit us. We'll turn on our lasers. We missed because uh, it had that evasion. I'm going to go ahead and take a cover hit, um, penalty here. Because I, I don't want the big mechs to just like go ahead and target us. I'm just going to do a normal attack as well. Confirmed. Some nice hits. Yeah, I figured they had long range. Warning. Actually, those, those might have been short range. Now we can start pummeling their big mechs. It's got that evasion. Actually, oh, I guess I oh, I already moved. Okay, let's just um kill the fire starter. Cool. I'm gonna mercenary scum. I'm gonna go ahead and reserve glitch. We'll probably do some sensor locks. 
Damn. I was really hoping we had better cover than that. Armor breach. Internal damage. Oh, we're taking damage on our left arm. We have a medium laser there. Again, I don't really mind if we lose that because, you know, the, the laser's not serving us super much. The left torso is what we care about. That being said, I don't want to lose it. Um, where's that ammo? We'll hit it on the ammo. Taking the shot. I hear ya. Time to die. Amazed that it got to keep the arm there. Okay, it, it it lost the arm and it got knocked over. It's a shame that didn't happen a little bit sooner. That's the trouble with unstable damage is like it only really matters if you can do it quickly. Because otherwise you just like don't gain anything from it. Oh, they have a catapult. Oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, that's the thing that has two PPCs. We just lost our right arm. It's got insane evasion as well right now. Okay, um, we gotta kill that thing while we have the chance. There we go. Um, well, we have a better chance of hitting the dragon, so we should take that shot. LRM ammo. Yeah, let's let's hit it in that shoulder. Commander. So now uh, I'm a little bit worried about what we've got going on with the two dragons. It's it's not good. Kind of want to back up. Or at least like sprint around so that they're a harder target to hit. We'll sprint and then um, reveal our back. Might not be a good idea. I just like, I want to give them the best odds of escaping some of that damage. And let the LRMs do their thing. Or maybe do like a sensor, um, sensor lock on them. I guess that that reduces our evasion. I I think that this is better in some ways. Like try and make the most of all of our armor. Um, yeah, make them miss shots. Buy us some time so the LRMs can soften them up a bit. I would love to hit that um, catapult, but I think the dragon's actually a bigger threat right now. Good to go. Take if we knocked it over, yeah, it might be worth actually circling around and hitting it with the short range. Yeah, let's do that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pilot injured also. Uh, we can hit it here as well. Like, we're taking a risk here, but we're doing so to try and eliminate a pretty beefy threat. Nice. So the only thing left is the catapult, which I imagine is where Victoria is. She's going to kick my dragon. That sucks. She has no support guns, I don't think. Oh, she does. Good Lord. OK, 
Okay, well, we'll, we'll follow the plan A. Um, we could just hit it in the torso. Like, go for the, go for the gut, like, as soon as possible. No, we have a better chance of hitting the shoulder. We should, like, break things off. Removing, yeah, if we remove that right torso, we remove, like, half the firepower. Oh, uh, we should have, um, we should have reserved. That was dumb. Because then, uh, we can do a runaround. So uh, we have our dragons essentially serving as uh, s like scouts, like light mix. Too bad I can't get to something else. Ooh, ice. That's kind of interesting. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna continue reserving glitch, and. Uh, just so, you know, if they take a shot, they'll be reducing their evasion. Ooh, that sucks. Did they miss? What can I do? Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Can we not hit it? Yeah, we're running out of ammo. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to stop playing games with the dragons and actually start hitting them. We might even have to get our hands dirty with the long range and like do some melee hits with them. I'm surprised we don't have like you know sights on their back right now. Oh, if we could knock it over. Waiting for orders. Yeah, we don't have a lot of... We, we, yeah, we, we don't have any ammo left with the LRMs. Maybe we could knock it over with what we've got left. We would overheat a little bit. But I think we have to t take our shots. Oh, if we could knock it over. Orders. That would be so good. Hit it. MG crit, knockdown, yes. That hit something good. Okay, I, I, I really need to take advantage of this. Okay, let's uh keep ourselves on the ice. We'll have our left side pointed towards the catapult, which is what we want because that's where most of our armor is now. Um, let's hit that left torso. We're on the ice, so we can hit it pretty consistently. So we got to take advantage of that knockdown. We got to take out part part of its uh, weaponry. Ooh. Punch from behind is bad. Armor low, but not not done. Okay, this uh, Griffin actually has some firepower left, so we can we can hit it. Um, we're gonna do a precision strike. We can only really hit it in the torso. I mean, we can hit it in the left torso, but like, no, we can't. Never mind. Um, so let's just hit it in the torso. And um, we're just going to have to sprint over with a Centurion and hope that it, it's, you know, maybe it takes a shot. The nice thing is that we can hit it with the lasers because we're on this ice. Really don't want my left arm exposed. We want our right side exposed. 
as like as much as possible. Nice. Mission successful, Commander. Nicely done. Dr. Murad, does the Argo have an empty storeroom that could serve as a makeshift brig? I'm sure that something could be arranged, Dr. Arano. I'm sure we're going to find out that that drop ship had a ton of civilians on it. Then arrange it and get a lock on Lady Espinosa's ejection pod. She's coming with us. That's cool. I mean, we we it's a big win. But uh, I am a little bit concerned about that dropship. Do a pause here. Oh, never mind. I was I didn't know how long that loading screen was going to be. We got two million. Uh, we took a lot of damage, but that was to be expected. Look at all the parts we get. Um, definitely taking that catapult. Um, we'll take a dragon part. We'll take a shadow hawk for an extra payday. Um, I could take this, the Wolverine. The Wolverine is okay. It's got three missile slots. That's not bad. Um, sure. And we'll get a bunch of other stuff. I mean, honestly, it might be better to take weapons at this point, like a PPC plus plus. Yeah, we should take a PPC plus plus. I don't know when I'm going to use it but it's better than a, a, a random mech part for something we don't really want. So we got, um, I think we got the Shadow Hawk part anyway. Oh, yeah, we already took that, sorry. We didn't get the Wolverine part, that's fine. We got the Catapult part though, that's really good. It's a, kind of a shame we didn't get two parts though. Ooh, a cutscene. Yeah. We might find out even that uh, Arano lied. There's Victoria. I sure hope it doesn't turn out that Lady Arano like made sure that we fully thought that the dropship was um, full of civilians. Victoria, I've been waiting three years for this. Are you enjoying your cell? I had it assembled just for you. Gloat all you like, cousin. Your victory will be short-lived. Your pathetic little army may have carried you this far, but if you think that you can challenge the core systems, you're sadly mistaken. Our glorious army will grind your restoration to a bloody pulp. Save me the lecture and tell me what you were doing on Anvelt. Your father rules the directorate. You should be in a tower somewhere, not on a dusty little moon guarding a smuggling ship. Smuggling ship. Is that what Carosas thought the new New Grange was? Is that what he told you? You poor dear fool. I would tell you what you've just done, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. You'll find out for yourself soon enough. We may need to have a talk with Lord Carosas. In due time. For now, I would have words with my cousin. Victoria, I loved you like a sister and you betrayed me. Your father held a knife to my back and you helped him push it in. I need to understand why. If you'd ever really listened to him, you'd already know. He tried to teach you, to set you on the path to strength and pros prosperity, but you spat on his efforts and forced his hand, and mine along with it. Force your hand? Mastiff is dead because of you, our mentor. The man you who, who taught you to pilot a mech. You put him in a camp and left him to rot. Thousands of Oregon dead lie piled at your feet. The price of strength and our nation's future. For the glory of the reach, I'd pay it a hundred times over. You seem to be confusing want and cruelty for strength. They aren't the same thing. The destruction of your lance should have taught you that. Little Lord Madeira, still my cousin's favorite pet, I see. I wonder if that pretty jaw of yours is as fragile as it looks. One of these days I'll have to find out. You aren't in a great position to be making threats. Big Simple is right, you aren't, and that's eating you alive, isn't it? You're a formidable mech warrior, Victoria, but that's all you are. 
Take away your mech and what's left? Bile and venom and nothing else. Go on and gloat, fool. Enjoy your small victories while you can. Do you think my father hasn't planned for this? Do you think that you are you are winning? My capture means nothing. The jaws of our trap are already closing around your neck. You're just too blind to see it. Um. You talk like a cartoon villain. Has anyone ever told you that? You mock me at your peril, mercenary. My father bends everyone to his will. The periphery nations, the successor states, everyone. You don't know what I've done for our people. The sacrifices I've had to make. You understand nothing. You never will. You've already lost this war, cousin. You'll die screaming and your restoration will die with you. I've heard enough. What do you want us to do with her, Lady Arano? The Argo isn't a prison. She can't stay here. No, she can't. Lady, uh, Lord Carosus lost a daughter to the Directorate, and we weren't there to help him. I can't undo that wrong, but I can give him justice. We will transfer Lady Victoria into his custody, to be held until I say otherwise. Your call, Lady Arano. We'll set a course for Smith and when we're ready. Conversation's over, people. Let's get back to work. Lord, uh, Lady Arano, my staff has taken Lady Espinosa into custody. She is being escorted to her cell as we speak. A kinder fate than she deserves, perhaps, but I will adhere to the terms of her arrangement. While she remains in my custody, she will not be harmed. You are an honorable man, a Lord Carosis. One day I hope to earn your support. You already have it. What you've done today feels like justice, Lady Arano, of a kind I never thought I'd live to see. I owe you a debt of thanks as well, Commander Beard. You did a yeoman's job on the New Grange. She will never darken our skies again. Um, Lady Victoria claims that you were wrong, Lord Carosis, that the New Grange wasn't a smuggling ship. Yeah, I, I want to know this. Of course she does. She's a liar and a betrayer. You can't trust her at her word. Play devil's advocate. What if she's telling the truth? It doesn't matter if she she is. Whatever the ship's provenance, the New Grange was important enough that Lady uh, Director Espinosa had his own daughter standing sentry over her refueling site. You sent that ship to hell and deprived Espinosa of something he deemed valuable. I count that as a win. Um, if I were you, I'd make sure to keep an armed guard outside Victoria's cell at all times. She'll be dangerous even in captivity. Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with, and the appropriate precautions have been taken. Lady Victoria will be quite secure until Lady Arano is ready to reclaim her. Glad to be of service. Now let's discuss what you'll be doing for us in return. Yes, of course. Let us discuss your re recompense. Your chief engineer tells me that she's found a hidden data archive on your ship, and that you need my help to open it. It sounds to be quite the mystery. More than a mystery to me, Lord Carosis, my father believed that the Argo held something of great value, but he died before he could see it. I need to know what's on that drive, and you're the only one in the Reach who can open it for me. Better, perhaps, that I give you the means to open it yourself. I will have a device sent to your ship, an electronic codebreaker of advanced design. Given enough time, it'll chew, un chew, through that, uh, th chew through any encryption, even yours. Deep periphery. With respect, I'm surprised that a periphery lord even has access to such a device. I was just as surprised when I received it. High Lord Tamati himself delivered it to me. He told me that it had been discovered in the possession of a Comstar precentor who had died in Oregon space. What she was doing with it, I'll never know. What I do know is that your father would want you to have this, Kamea. He'd be quite proud of the leader you've become. Thank you, Lord Carosis. Simon. It means more to me than I can say. Speaking of proud fathers, do you have any news to share about your son? Has his condition improved since last we spoke? Somewhat, my lady. Otto's road to recovery will be long and difficult. The directorate did something to his mind on Weldry. I still don't have a clear picture of what, but the damage is both physical and mental. In truth, I fear that my boy has been damaged irreparably, and that the Otto I knew is gone. But I cling to the hope that someday the son that I remember will return to me. He will, Simon, I know it. Otto is young and strong, and House Carosis is nothing if not resilient. I'm afraid that I must take my leave of you now. I have forces to marshal and plans to make, but please keep me appraised of Otto's condition. I will, my lady. 
Farewell to you and know that you have earned the support of House Carosis. What you've done today doesn't erase the past, but perhaps we can still write the course of our people's future. For my part, I am willing to try. Thank you and welcome to the restoration. Together we will fix what my uncle has broken, I swear it. I put the code-breaking device that we got from Lord, Lord Carosis to work on our mystery archive, and now I'm watching a progress bar climb really slowly. I'll give you a heads up when it's finished. Cool. 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 Hello? Okay. Shadowhawk 2, 2H is the perfect example of a jack-of-all-trades. It supports weaponry for all ranges, has respectable speed and jump capability, and mount decent armor. This comes at a cost of excelling at nothing in particular. We're going to need to do some mech repairs. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do know that. That's going to be a bummer for sure. Uh, but we have almost 6 million credits. 100,000 to repair the dragon. Uh, um, 90,000 to repair the other dragon. We're fine, though. They survived. They didn't lose any of their major weaponry. Um, no one got seriously injured well decker did decker got shot um we have more more to spend um let's let's do it up our damage up our damage uh, i'll increase her guts as well Um, I hear ya. so I think at this point I should start hiring other mech warriors and training them up. I think that that would be ideal. Um, we've got a good one here. I definitely am going to continue going for that tact tactician. New mech warriors available. Um, Waiting for orders. sure. We got bug. I'm gonna hire three, and um, that way we have basically a second lance worth of warriors, including Medusa. Uh, I'm not going to like do a full lance of untrained pilots. That would be ridiculous. That would be really, really dumb. Um, so instead, I'm gonna be swapping them out occasionally. We've got we still have dragon parts we still have the stalker part um let's see what we've got in the range of contracts not a lot going on right now some leftover or uh arano restoration so i'm going to be true to my word um are we doing any ship upgrades right now we are okay uh i'm going to be moving to a different location on the map with the interest of you know Improving our relations with another faction. So this is the Arana Restoration. Um, this is the rival, the the bad guys, basically. Quotation marks, bad guys. Um, I would like to maybe improve our relations with the Capellan Confederation, because I don't think that they, uh, you know, they're in a position to hate us. Like, we can actually gain with them. We have another faction we haven't ever even done anything with. They are enemies to, apparently, us. <laughs> um, the Free World League. They don't seem to like us. I um, wouldn't mind finding a, like, middling challenge here. That seems okay. Cavalor. Travel restricted. Oh, travel not possible. Why not? Seems like we can't go to any of these locations. So maybe I want to find a location that is on good terms with the Capellan. Seems like none of that. We can go to the Torin. Active factions. Here we go. This is... Oh, that's challenge level four. We don't want that. Ah, uh, this is... This is all right. We've got um, Capellan. And, uh, yeah, we can do this. Let's go ahead and do... Well, let's see what the black market has. Yeah, let's do the black market, because then we can have a look at the black market. We can do some missions, maybe, for the Capellans. Um, 
they are enemies to pretty much everyone, but I don't mind. We're already making enemies to most of those factions. I don't know why they're including my faction. Is that the, is that like my house banner? I wonder. But anyway, let's uh, set a course for that and uh, we'll see if we can't make friends for once. But that's going to um, put an end to this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I'm, I'm really enjoying this campaign um, and we're making some really good progress. I'm starting to feel very confident in my ability to actually make take advantage of the battlefield and use our lance to the best it's like its best benefit so that's kind of fun um but yeah i mean you can always let me know if there's things i can improve on um if you are enjoying the series definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time i'm gonna be doing a little bit of uh ship upgrades and stuff in between this episode just you know make some more decisions and strategize a little bit but uh I won't skip anything meaningful. Uh, you'll you'll get to see it all. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.